John chapter 4 verse 46 onwards we read like this Then he came to came again to Cana in Galilee where he had changed the water into wine Now there was a royal official whose son lay ill in Capernaum His son is a royal official is a royal coming from the royal uh, family and is a royal official his son is somewhere else in Capernaum and he was ill and this official came to meet Jesus and was 47 when he heard that Jesus had come from Judea to Galilee he went and begged him this royal official from the royal status he is bending down in front of this ordinary man Jesus and he is begging in front of him he didn't show his power and authority is a roman official he could show he could use his roman power but he humbled himself he is begging down in front of jesus you know jesus is also one of the citizens of those place that and he is also under the roman authority and as a roman royal official he could have commanded jesus to do something he doesn't need to beg in front of jesus but he did it he humbled himself forgetting his office forgetting forgetting his authority forgetting his power he found he is nothing in front of jesus he begged him to come down and heal his son for he was at the point of death verse 48 we read like this then jesus said to him unless you see signs and wonders you will not believe and jesus pointed out his lack of faith in case if there is and was 49 the official said to him sir come down before my little boy dies this official has no clue who jesus is he doesn't know who jesus is that is why he is calling him sir otherwise he would have called someone the messiah the son of god son of david there are so many titles people normally give to jesus but this man doesn't give any title to jesus maybe because he is a roman official he doesn't know anything about the jewish understanding about the messiah but one thing is sure he doesn't know much about jesus but he is ready to humble in front of jesus and then jesus said to him go your son will live the man believed the word that jesus spoke to him and started on his way he just believed the word that jesus spoke to him and started on his way my dear brothers and sisters first of all two points that we need to remember from this passage the first one this man though he is a very high, very high official roman official he did not show his officiality he did not show off his power and authority he humbled himself and begged in front of jesus my dear brothers and sisters we may be sometimes we think we are so spiritual sometimes we think we are so highly holy sometimes we feel we are so powerful sometimes we feel we are somebody but in front of god we are nobody we are nothing just humble ourselves and pray the lord will listen if we feel that i deserve healing i deserve i deserve blessing my children deserve blessing because i go to church every day i pray every day i attend the live streaming every day therefore i deserve it that won't work in front of god we don't deserve anything from the lord just accept the fact that we don't deserve anything just humble and beg in front of him the second point that we need to remember from this passage is he is a gentile he is a roman official he doesn't know who jesus is he even addressed jesus as sir he didn't even say jesus son of david he didn't say jesus the messiah he didn't say anything of those titles but he just said sir because he doesn't know who jesus is but when jesus spoke something he believed the word of jesus he believed the word of god blindly he didn't ask questions he said he didn't ask him how is it possible just because you said something will there be a miracle in somebody else somewhere else the child is in capernaum and you are in galilee and you are telling me don't worry go in peace 
how can i believe that i how can i just keep quiet I, how can i don't not to worry because my child is at the point of death please come he did not insist jesus to come physically and come and touch him he just believed the word of god remember even the non christians even the gentiles are believing in the power of the word of god why not we even they believe in the power of the word of god they blindly believe it and just obey it why are we hesitant why are we not believing in the word of god why are we not obeying the word of god blindly why are we questioning the power of god the man believed the word that jesus spoke there are so many words in the bible but jesus spoke do you believe then go peacefully miracle is on the way go peacefully the miracle is in your life go peacefully you will see the miracle in your personal life we read the man believed the word that jesus spoke to him and started on his way as he was going down his slaves met him and told him that his child was alive and was 52 so he asked them the hour when he wake began to recover when they said to him yesterday at 1 in the afternoon the fever left him the father realized that this was the hour when jesus had said to him your son will live so he himself believed along with his whole household see his belief accompanied believing the word of god believing in the word of god followed by believing in jesus himself so just believe the word of god your faith will increase in jesus christ